Welcome to the Crop Beer Connoisseurs. I'm Chris. I'm Tyler. And I'm Brett. And I'm a huge fan of our producer, Ian. You are. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. He made this whole thing about me. You I'm know just what? so happy he's you know, done this. People don't know this, but this is actually take two. And I think it's, <laughs> like you should mention. He's actual. Think it's so it's funny because I... I don't know about you, Chris, but I actually forgot that Brett was here. <laughs> you were so stuck in the two weeks ago when I wasn't here. That yeah. You're like, why can't we just keep that happening? And that's why I just went ahead and I didn't even turn on his mic. And yeah, I, like, I know. We just we rolled into it. In all fairness, should my mic be turned on all the time? Probably not. No. 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 Now, wasn't it like the Nine Poets episode when I forget who our producer was? Because I, forget I didn't, most of I didn't so. really like him, but he really, really <laughs> he liked, liked you. you. Yes, because he was the one driving me home. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah you guys uh, so but I like Ian more. But, now but we've, you do. We've got all these producers. They all love Brett. Like, I, I, I think we need it's to... A, it's a sympathy uh, thing. So you, I think you, it's you one of those this. things that I, yeah. I am the glue of, oh, is uh, that right? of the podcast. Okay. Which is why y- you guys missed me so much that you guys had to talk for like an hour and a half. You know the um, difference between like... Like uh, a glue stick and like a good, like Elmer's kind of like wood White glue? glue. No, wood glue. Oh, wood glue. Okay. You're like the glue stick. Uh, <laughs> you know? You, I thought you I can like, only stick paper together. I thought I was like super glue and just. No, you're not Gorilla Glue. <laughs> no. Sorry, pal. Uh, what can you do? But because. Did anybody have glue references on their bingo card? Because I sure as hell didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't have seen this one coming, but you and your. Best friend, Ian. Yes. Are you yes. guys carpooling tonight or no? Uh, I don't think so. No. Um, I, you know what? I, I know what happened. I know what happened. And I can, I can explain this. Okay. Okay. First, let's give a little bit of a preamble, right? So this is what Ian's put down for today's producer special. And we apologize to everybody who is listening. Uh, but Fife recently traveled to Dominican, which is why he was not uh, present on some previous episodes. In all fairness, I did try to chime in, but our good friends at CTV did not allow us, did not allow it to happen. Okay. It was a CTV <laughs> issue, I think. Sure. My plan actually was to FaceTime in for that episode, by the way. What was it? I was actually going to try to FaceTime in just for a couple minutes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And then obviously some things happened that didn't uh, yeah. allow it to no, occur. Sure. But uh, that was actually my plan. Well, you, I don't well, know how the audio would have hooked up and whatnot for it. No, I would have. I would have held you close. Yeah. We're, we're actually thrilled that you didn't. Yeah, it was actually a better episode <laughs> because of it. Oh. I could have um, gave my like love, lovely live review. It's true. It's like, true. We could we could actually piped you in, uh, but you did go to the Dominican with with your family for vacation. I did, yes. Uh, which is obviously why you you missed it, which we discussed. Mm-hmm. Um, now, while you were there, you did try some craft beers. You visited a local brewery. As now, one does. Yeah. When they go on vacation. But hear me out. Hear me out. On this producer special, I can tell you with 100% certainty that we are not drinking a beer today. But. We're definitely not drinking one from Dominican. But I do know that um, Brett might have persuaded Ian with some beer from the Dominican. And that's why this episode is about him. That's my theory. Conspiracy? I, I would. Think not. I would not doubt it. I think he. It. Uh, it he was not a beer. No, it was not a beer. No, it was. Uh, I know did it. maybe. It's fine. It's persuade fine. him. Um, he hasn't gotten it yet. Uh, he will soon. Uh, potentially with a growler. Oh, see, there's oh. always something. There's always something. Okay. Did it, yeah. did it make its way into the car for the evening? No. Yeah. I but just... will it make its way to Ian's house eventually? No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. We, we can you, talk about it. You've fallen in love with it. <laughs> we can talk about a pushback. And I believe um, I did take a couple pictures of the growler that will be in a nice uh, four by three square format. Yeah. Um, that uh, potentially might make our uh, Instagram. It's good picture. that you know that. Okay. But yes. I knew that there was something behind it, and uh, we found it. We found it, guys. Yeah, there you go. Uh, detective, some might say yes. Um, Others would say. Yes. 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 <laughs> also. <laughs> so there you go. So I think the format of this one, um, it's kind of it's going to be very awkward, and I don't like it. It's like an interview style. Yeah. Yeah. You're on the hot seat, buddy. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. All right. So first well, question: Where's my beer? <laughs> where's well, beer? in all fairness, I believe no, no. I uh, got one one for you last year. Oh. Okay. So you know, remember that one. What have you yeah. got for me today? Uh, I have absolutely nothing. Uh, for the reason of... This, this was your, because of your wife. Uh, a, my wife. 
B, the fact that uh, last year I flew from Friday to Saturday, and this year I did a Sunday to Sunday, or early Monday morning when I got in. Yeah. And I did not want to be burdened with the task of going through customs and having them to search my bags for six beers at 2 a.m. in the morning, when then I had to drive home and be home at 4.30 in the morning, and then I had to go to work for 8.30. Sounds like a you problem. Definitely a me problem. Uh, <laughs> but it's one of those things where, yeah, I just didn't want to go. And also, last year I flew into Hamilton. This year I flew into Toronto. Bit of a different story. Besides the point. Okay. So, But I did last one. year in 2023, I did bring a beer for each of you, uh, which you did have. So in 2025, you're going to have to pick a better flight time to yes. allow for time to be... You know, go through a longer customs. Um, so sure, if I do end up going next year, um, then yes, I will pick. Probably going to try to fly out of Kitchener. Uh, maybe better. Okay. Um, might not end up in maybe Puta London. Canada. Maybe not end up in Puta Canada at all. Might end up somewhere else, but uh, <laughs> just fly out of KW. Um, maybe end up in Vegas. That would be the worst thing in the world. Uh, anyway, so apparently it's supposed to be interviewed, so you guys keep asking questions. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, honestly, uh, you lost a lot of points on the question one uh, <laughs> in this interview process. Yeah. Well, Do question we- number two. Mm-hmm. Okay. You you checked in a bunch of beers on Untapped. Yes. Uh, local ones, I believe. Uh, yes, there was a few locals and a few imports. Correct. Where did you find them? Well, I went to the grocery store. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Question three. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, simple uh, that. So, yeah, uh, that in terms of where, um, um, so my in-laws, um, they have a um, have a kind of thing through a rental property that each year they get to go to, back to Putacana, more specifically Bavaro, and they give their list of dates, and then this company gives them where they're supposed to stay. Um, so yes. this year they were in. Uh, pool garden last year. I think we were in like beach garden or something like that. Anyway, um, so there is a grocery store about, I don't know, about a three and a half minute walk Okay, called the Supermercado. Yeah. Uh, where they actually have a decent craft beer selection. Nice. They also have a, what is known as Presidentes. Yes. Who doesn't have a good Presidente. Yeah, got it. <laughs> right. Um, so actually, yeah. The only thing that um, is the issue is they are not in a fridge. Oh. So the first night can't drink little, them right away. Yeah, first night's a little bit rough. <laughs> uh, but my father-in-law um, did uh, did did do some hunting beforehand and got me a few beers that were um, refrigerated, just like the beers that we had uh, on the broadhead episode. Yes, um, yes, that I could have as soon as we got there because it was a long travel day. Well, that's nice of him. Yes. Did I have beers in the Pearson Airport and on the plane? Absolutely. But as one does, yes. oh yeah. Hey, I mean, uh, Flair and uh, and and Phillips Brewing out of Vancouver have a kind of a deal. So I was able to try the tilt lager while I was on the the aircraft. Uh, cool. It was really a good distraction from my screaming daughter and my sleeping wife. So, <laughs> what would what, <laughs> what would you prefer more? Are those two? Uh, silence. <laughs> oh. I, so sleeping wife. So sleeping wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very good. Not wrong. Interesting. Interesting yes. about the the tilted beer, though. Yes, it was uh, actually good beer. Yeah. Weird beer to have on a plane. Uh, yes. Due to the, the naming convention, <laughs> right? Yes. But alas, here we are. They did have the uh, the blue. Uh, excuse me, sir. This one. is our interview. Okay. You will yeah. answer the questions in which we will ask. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so yeah, any local beers or most of them imports or what were we kind of working uh, so with? I, there was Can, a few... Excuse me, the <laughs> etiquette during this interview is terrible. Let me finish the question. I, will I can't ask, wait till you go on vacation. We drill you with questions. I will, I, I will be bringing back growlers to get an episode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the question is as follows. Any local beers or were they all imports? My turn. This is me now. Please go yeah. ahead. Okay. Yes. If anybody should know how to do an interview, I would think it would be you, but I'm, <laughs> I'm just, cautiously just, thinking that Well, it's, it's not. one of those things where uh, interviews in a professional manner, absolutely. Interviews in this form, not so much. This, professional this is yeah. quite professional, yes. actually. And the disrespect uh, is palpable. Yes. <laughs> right. So in terms of local beers, there were a couple local ones from um, the Dominican Republic, most specifically Santo Domingo. Um, but most of them were imports from Germany, Spain, and actually the U.S., so last year when I went, there were no U.S. imports whatsoever besides your Budweiser's and Blue Moons. Uh, but there was actually a couple from, I believe, Prison Pals. Oh. Yes, which is a brewery in Florida. And then there was also High Tilt, which is, was a brewery in North More tilt. Carolina. This guy's just tilted the whole yes. time. So, um, so did had you, a couple of each. What, from what did you enjoy more? Uh, I would think that'd be Prison Pals. It was Prison Pals, mostly because of the labels. I mean, like when you see a label like this, and then you're on a beach, 
by all means. It just makes sense. Now, did you have your pocket uh, back pocket out? Uh, <laughs> No. All right. Yes. That's a bit of a sh- bit of a surprise to all of yes. us. Uh, Chris, why don't you go ahead and ask the next question ish? Now I understand you attended a brewery. Yes. Is so there was correct? one day that we it had rained, and we figured that was the best day to go to a brewery. <laughs> sorry. I believe this is a yes no question. <laughs> yes. Can you please just refrain from additional comment? Chris. Is this like an interrogation right now? No, it's an interview. You're just doing terrible at it. Chris, go ahead. Because I have follow-ups. So, <laughs> okay. you attended a brewery, yes? Yes. Yes. What was the brewery called? Sir Cerveza Putacana. <laughs> Sir what? Sir Cerveza Putacana. All okay. Right. You've been working on your Spanish? Si, senor. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a follow-up? Yes, well? please. Goddamn yes. Duolingo is working. <laughs> Thank you. Um, now, what beers did you have at said brewery? Uno Secondo. That's not... That's- no, sorry. That's not it. That doesn't you're, you're supposed to be prepared for the questions here. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did you not get the script ahead of time? Looks Absolutely like not. Ian has failed you. Yeah, come on, uh, Ian. So the first one I had was a Mango Passion Sour. Okay. Followed by a Hefeweizen. Okay. A Strong Lager, which was quite strong. I do admit that. Um, the Citra and Mosaic IPA. And then at the end, I did have the Summer Ale, which is kind of like a, um, almost like the version of a Blue Moon. Okay. Um, there was also other beers like the um, Canita Amber that I gave you guys last year that were I also yes. had. I Pretty much can't really remember it because I didn't have it recently, but okay. Yeah, well, it's in your top profile. Go look at it. Um, <laughs> so pretty much everything they had on on tap there, I at least tried either for the first time or again. Thank you. Yes. Can you describe the tap room? <laughs> So the tap room, very spacious, okay? Um, honestly, if it would be a brewery, for example, that if you were to place it right in Ontario, would, ha- would have no problems. It's, it's very, very nice in there, actually. Um, I would say about seating for about 150 people, uh, oh, both on big. the first floor, the second floor, which has about seating for like eight, and then the third floor. Oh, I don't know why the second floors. floor has seating for eight. No idea. Just more like a landing between the first and third. Because <laughs> it can fit more people. Though. Yes. Eight more. Um, the uh, server was very nice, but also not really knowledgeable. Um, because I explained on, on the flight process. Did you, no, no. Did, yeah. you, did you craft beer explain? Is that what yeah. you did? Yeah. So I'm telling you that she's very nice, but not knowledgeable. I know. So, so you, you craft beer explained. Was she an English speaker? Uh, no. Wow. Yeah. So, how do you know she wasn't knowledgeable? <laughs> because I had to get yeah, Duolingo <laughs> Because I had to get Google there. Translate out and explain num- numero dos, numero tres, numero like, and then I get I think I ordered like two, four, six, and seven, and I end up with like one, three, like five, and nine. Like now, she's all, like, these are the ones you don't want, right? Okay, we'll give you these ones. Now, in all fairness, I mean, we've listened to you say numbers and words on this podcast, and correct, yes. But, I mean, it must be the fault of Google Translate. Yeah, it's got to be. Not it. for the podcast. Podcast yeah. is on me. Not, not, Google, not Google Translate You know, from a parent company, Alphabet, who's got a ton of money and AI has built in it. <laughs> yeah. clearly, clearly There's no be... way they're doing a good job of translating. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not <laughs> my illiterate son, Brett, over here. <laughs> <laughs> Who apparently cannot do an interview at all. Um, no. Okay, so you want to talk, so just be quiet. Uh <laughs> Now what what about your what about your favorites? What what were your favorites? Uh, so as bad as it sounds, my favorite beer that I had in Dominican the whole time was actually one of those beers from Highwire, which was a red rye lager. Um, it actually was um, quite nice. And I rated it a four point two five, and I don't think I've ever had a rye based beer over probably a three point two five. Okay, yeah, it was just nice and uh, nice and smooth and went down quite well. Okay. And it was my first. It wasn't one of those ones where I had like six or seven that day, and then went to that. It was actually like my first beer of the day. It's probably why nine a.m. beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think it was nine. It was at least ten fifteen. <laughs> like they also had a Duff beer from I, I believe saw from that, Spain. Yeah. Um, Homer Simpson rated a two five. So did I. Okay, there you go, uh, Chris. You're probably you're probably going to ask about what his favorite beer was at that brewery, right? Uh, yeah, I was. So that was the Mango Passion Sour. Um, the one thing about the beers in Dominican that they make is especially at this brewery is that the Canitas light lager lager and amber are sold pretty much anywhere. 
and everything else is kind of just like taproom exclusives, right? right. Um, so I did end up getting a um, Growler of the Session IPA, which would probably be my second favorite one, but I just didn't also want to have two liters of mango passion sour going down for the next three days. Why? Um, because... Good God. No. Uh, but anyway, so I got Session IPA because it was a nice light drinking beer that I could have on the deck, at the pool, uh, pretty much anywhere. Yep. Um, also... It's a really fun fact that I was probably the only person traveling the beach with a growler. <laughs> so you get a couple looks, just saying. Huh, but, that's okay. That, but then people also know that you're a craft beer person. So I did get a couple questions. Like, oh, I'm sure you explained it to them. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. mansplained it to them astronomically. So, so, In English and Spanish. Yes. So how many listeners should we expect? Oh, at least three. Okay. You handed out some cards? Uh, actually, I did have a card. I didn't get one person. You I had actually, a card that yeah. you give to one. No, honestly. You want, you want to know why? Don't, because don't you, spread no. the fine word of the craft no, no. beer concert. No, you want to know why? No, because fine. there is one it's stuck fine. in the backpack that we had bought. Oh, so it was accidental. <laughs> <laughs> it was accidental by all means. But when we, my wife didn't empty out the whole backpack, so there's actually one card in there. So I was explaining how we do this. And I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure I card. So I actually pulled out the card, and the guy was like scanning the QR code and whatnot. You know, it was hilarious. These, these international trips, I think, are, are important ventures for the craft beer connoisseurs and the hosts. Whenever I go away, I give out cards all over the place. When I was in you Portugal, do. I went every brewery, I gave out a card to pretty well everybody who was serving us, explained our story, who we were. And that's how you make these connections, because the one brewery was owned by an expat, like a, a Canadian. Yeah. And how many... Portuguese beers have we had, Chris? Okay. Yeah, that would be zero. Yeah, okay. How many Dominican beers have you had? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> I had one. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Here's the difference. I don't take luggage like you take luggage. I am a carry-on only guy wherever I travel. Or he didn't do a good enough job and he could have snuck some in. Just saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna sneak some in. I gotta see. I gotta you could have been on border number. control, Portugal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it would have been Canada. Yeah, it would have been coming would, home. Would, God, this this interview's gone off the tracks here. Yeah, well, what did um, you expect? Yeah, we have one more question for you. One more. Go ahead, Chris. Mercifully, this will end. Um, what are your <laughs> overall thoughts on the craft beer scene in the Dominican Republic? So, um, I think the next time I do go, eventually which probably won't be next year, it'll be a couple years from now, is that um, I do want to take a bus trip into Santo Domingo. Uh, there's five breweries there. I was able to have a couple of them while I was in uh, Putacana, but um, the one thing is the filtration of the water. Yeah. Right? Because obviously, be a when, you, uh, when you go to any restaurant while you're there, you have to get bottles of water. You can't drink their water, right? Mm -hmm. So them having to go through the filtration process to make it a legible enough beer to drink it's that's why it costs a bit more for um craft beer there in dominican versus in ontario and we think ontario prices are high besides the the other two their prices are pretty much on par if not even higher mm. so you're looking um about almost nine bucks a can really yeah i'm not looking at anything because i didn't go just to, just to give me a rough estimate so he's in the market i think bottom line that's why he didn't bring any beer back. Oh, 100%. Didn't want to spend nine bucks yeah, on each of us. We're not, we're not even growler. Uh, actually, right? nine, uh, uh, yeah. How much to, is the growler? The growler um, was Six. $3.99. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. Do you hear that, Ian? Yeah. You're not so special anymore. <laughs> we, we, my father-in-law was gracious enough to pick up the bill because we all went. Oh. And, um, no, originally it was just it was supposed to be myself and my wife, and we were going to get absolutely tanked there. And then with my father-in-law, my mother-in-law showed up. They we got spoiled absolutely it. tanked. <laughs> and uh, the, the only thing they though is they didn't have any food because mm. we got there like right at three o'clock because we opened at three. Uh, so we asked if we could get the Wendy's, which is across the street. <laughs> no, no, no. I, you know what? I love going to the Dominican for some Wendy's. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, so what you have? A, no, Baconator for sure. Uh, and how was the Baconator? Actually, quite delicious. It was yeah. actually very good. Okay. On par, I'd say. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was obviously a good time. Did and they have the breakfast baconator? Oh, well, it was three o'clock in the afternoon. Well, so that no. day. But <laughs> yeah. if I know where you go no back, threat, let me tell you. I know where the Wendy's well, is. Yeah. I'm where, going back. From where we stayed to where the breweries is about 25 minute Uber ride. So I did okay. not go back to that specific uh, Wendy's per se. Because okay. where we stayed, there was a lot more local, local environments. So, you know, sushi I had one night and uh, pizza, a couple other things. 
Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. DR is known half, for pizza. Half price uh, margaritas. <laughs> All right. Are, are, are you done being on the hot seat? Yes. Did, did yes. you like that, next, or did you not like that? Next time, I think when uh, Tyler has enough West Chip points, well, oh, uh, he's going to fly us all to Dominican, and we can just tour the breweries in uh, Dominican. Two West Chip points, bud. The uh, Air Canada points, or airplane uh, points, or tough to say. You'll never know. Because ING have... direct points. <laughs> he'll, he'll keep it a secret. <laughs> yeah, because I'll be fly, flying first class wherever I go next. <laughs> Yeah, you probably will. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So you're done talking about you. Chris, why don't we just give a, a brief assessment? We, do, we talked a lot about Brett, but what do you, what do you think about Brett's trip? <laughs> I mean, sounds like a good time. I, I would enjoy going to the Dominican Republic in February also. It's true. Our, it's a good time to go. Yeah. I, I still think we need that uh, craft beer connoisseurs trip that we can put it out to any of our listeners and see if they want to join up with us. I think we should do something like I that. I think if we're going to do a trip. It's got to go to Germany, Ireland, Brussels. I agree. I was going to say Vegas, but okay. <laughs> Vegas? <laughs> I'll do Vegas. They, no, the, the craft brewery scene in Vegas is quite no, good. Right? I'll never do Vegas because this guy who did Vegas in like... Hey, you know, let's do Vegas in August. It was June. I did, yeah. I did, yeah. I did Vegas in July and it was 46 degrees yeah. Celsius every day. Yeah, it's and amazing. People, and people were wearing pants and, or pants and sweaters. Yeah. yeah. Why would I go somewhere? Because you have to go when the pools are open. And then you get water blisters on your back that you have to poke for like the next two weeks after you come back. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. That was me. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. So we'll leave that on water blisters. Sounds like you stayed at a bad hotel. <laughs> no, it sounds like it was out in the sun too much. Oh. <laughs> all right. Water blisters to end the episode. It's Treasure Island, okay? Like Miss Congeniality too. That's the whole reason we stayed Treasure Island. <laughs> Duh. My wife. And that's Lord. all for today's producer special. Thank you again for listening. Keep on listening every other Thursday as the Craft Beer Connoisseurs release a new episode and on our off Thursdays for these unique producer specials. And remember to fly safe, drink responsibly, and don't drink and drive. So from all of us and producer Ian, who got a growler, I'm Tyler. I'm Brett. And I'm Chris. And together with the Craft Beer Connoisseurs. <laughs> <laughs>